We're coming to you from the Global Washington Annual Conference, Smarter Approaches to a Changing World, here at the Bell Harbor Conference Center in Seattle, Washington. Cliff Schmidt from uh, Literacy Bridge, it's time to catch up with you. And uh, what's been happening with Literacy Bridge over the past couple of years? Uh, well, we've kind of shifted from uh, mainly focusing on developing the program to now starting to scale it to a little bit larger than what we were before. Um, the, the biggest scale has been uh, now reached with a partnership with UNICEF um, with some support from uh, the um, chip uh, company ARM and then also Seattle International Foundation. And you used to work primarily in Northwest Ghana, is that still the case? Yes, for the, we still have most of our staff in the Upper West Region in the Northwest part of Ghana and, uh, and that's where we're, we're serving about 40,000 people or so there. Wow. You are in education. What kind of education are you in? We're in the most practical education that, that the very poorest, hardest to reach people are looking for. So in the rural areas, we're talking about farmers, so farming information, agriculture, livestock, um, but also health information, how to uh, deal with the diseases and the challenges that they face there. And as I recall, when you originally started, uh, you felt like you were going to be teaching academics, but you saw that that was not the best way to go. Yeah, we were we were kind of a dual purpose. We were looking at our device. So we have a little audio device, the talking book that that um, we originally were looking at is also as a literacy tool. But from the beginning, we also realized the power of just taking local knowledge uh, recorded in the local language and put it on there for people to listen to, whether they are literate or not. And that's the area that has really taken off. And so we put all of our focus into that now. Now, the area of Northwest Ghana is really rural, isn't it? Yes, about as rural as it can be. Yes. Um, you are, as I understand it, about ready to go mm -hmm. uh, back to Ghana. Yes. And as, as we speak, there is still a scare of Ebola in West Africa. Mm -hmm. How come you're going? Doesn't it scare you? No. Um, no, I think uh, if you're not a healthcare worker working in an area of concentration of Ebola, you, your odds are, are not something I think you should worry about. Very good. So what do you expect to accomplish while you're there? Uh, well, I'll be uh, meeting up with our partners, so our uh, UNICEF, uh, MEDA, we're also um, just about to uh, um, do a project with CARE. Um, and then I'll also be just having face-to-face uh, -face meetings with our local staff there. Uh, they, they run the operation fine, but it's always good to have face-to-face -face time. And the Global Washington Conference, uh, how does that help you? It's just a way for people who have been meaning to connect for a while to actually connect because you see each other face-to-face. -face. Cliff, thank you for being with us. Okay, thank you. Okay. Rainmaker believes we can change.